Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how we can change the colors of LED of the same LED by giving some condition. Like in this video, I can see if I change the temperature of my thermometer and it varies uh, from different conditions, so the color of the LED also changes accordingly. So, to make this uh, program we will just open our new VI and let's just close the previous ones and now we can place a thermometer on it here we can just change its uh, size and show its digital display and now I can place a round LED in here So now I will just jump onto the block diagram and start making its program. Let's just change it to change it to control since we will change the range of my temperature. So I will just begin with creating its property node named as colors. So I'll just change it to right and now I can create its constant since we have two colors in here but the color that will represent its um, color at the time will be the upper ones so we'll change the colors to green right now I can place it aside and now I can set conditions to it to set the conditions Let's just go into comparison palette and find out in range. We will give different conditions on it here which will uh, give us the particular color. Let's say if our color is from 0 to uh, 20, then there will be one condition and similarly if our color goes to 21 to Let's say 20 to 40 and then there is a condition of 40 to 60 and similarly one more condition we can add in here um, 60 to 80 And similarly the last condition that we can add in here is let's say greater than um, 80 so now we have five conditions in here which means that uh, we can just uh, use a uh, case selector in here that will give us now the one way we can do this is we can just attach this constant uh, in here like this way if I delete this wire I can connect it in here now I can just copy this and um, copy this constant as well and I can just attach this constant in here connect this output in here and the false condition will go uh, its output will connect will be connected to its false condition and here we can change its color to let's say yellow and similarly we can do this and connect it in here and again we can make a copy of it by pressing control and right click and drag so that it will make a copy of it and connect its output like this change its color as well to let's say some more darker um, 
color and again we can make a copy of it and in this condition that will give us right now it is giving a broken error because we didn't have connected this output so this will give us a more uh, more red color so that it will be moved to uh, some danger zone so we can just select out a less red color or a pink color and similarly after 80 that will give us the exact red color so that's how it is connected to my false condition uh, my false condition of the uh, case selector but we do not want to connect it here here we will connect it out to this condition so I'll connect it out in here and since it is greater than this so we will just we can say that if there is any other condition then sorry this is just giving me So now uh, on the false condition that means if it does not rely in any of the above condition then it will give me a blue color. So I will connect it in here and now I can just connect the output to my colors property node and now I can just enclose that within my while loop and I can create a control of it and I can just uh, give we are some timing so <clears throat> there will be some um, delay applied to my vi so right now if i run the program and see if it works properly or not as i am changing the temperature it is changing the color of my led as you can see it goes above 60 and then it goes above 80 it is giving me green uh, color right now but it should have giving, given me some red color but it is giving me oh yes there we have to pick the red color right now this was the mistake so this is giving me the red color right now and as we said that if any of the condition doesn't follow then it should give us um, then it should give us blue so why not we should start it from minus 10 so if I let's go uh, let's say goes below 0 then it is not falling in any condition then it is giving us the blue color right now so that's how you can meet you can apply different conditions on it here uh, if you don't want want to uh, create this um, uh, do not want to create this constant of colors you can also use a case structure in here and provide some cases like 0 and here 1 and you can just uh, you can just delete this these wires You can delete these all these constants in here and this is the other way that we can do this we can just remove all this wire by pressing ctrl plus b so now i can just attach my this constant with this color and i can create a constant of zero and similarly a constant of one and a constant of two and a constant of three and a constant of four and a constant of five so that we can place these colors within our case structure but first we have to connect it with this so right now it is representing these cases so we will start from the zero it means that if it is zero to 20 then it will give us some green color we can just press uh, we can 
just place this within zero we can make a copy of it by pressing control and right click sorry left click and drag and now in this case we can select our color again let's say uh, yellow color and we can again make a copy of it and place it inside and similarly we can add more cases like two add case after three and add case after four and add case after five since there are zero one two three four five five cases in here so in the case two we will again make a copy of it place it inside and use some more darker color um, to some brown color and similarly we can place it in here and use another color uh, which was our pink ones and in the fourth case we will just place it uh, and choose the color red and in the fifth section we will say that if our condition doesn't belongs to any of these cases then our color should be blue which means that first condition is belongs to case 0 and the second condition belongs to case 1 and similarly third condition belongs to case 2 and similarly 3 4 and 5 now if i try to run the program still at below 0 degree centigrade it is giving me blue color and if i go above it is giving me green and if it goes above 20 then it gives giving me light yellow and after 40 it is giving me brown after 60 it is giving me some of pink or you can say purple color and after 80 is giving me a red color so you can implement different um, conditions in here you can use string output as well and some other conditions to show the color of the LED